Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is all about a really, really sexy theme, and I mean it's ridiculously good. And it goes perfectly with what I usually do on GNOME. And normally I would do this video on GNOME, but it improves Hyperlint even more with Nautilus and other applications that use it, such as uh, Pyaxis. So I want you to take a look at this. We're gonna open these real quick and full screen if we will let us ah oh, look at this wow as you can see the corners need a bit work but other than that everything is so ridiculously clean look at those rounded corners the edges everything looks absolutely spectacular and i'm i'm all here for it i love this this looks brilliant there is no doubts about it but how well does it translate over to hyperland well, amazingly. So, uh, if we actually just... I'm still getting used to this. Bring this down. Also, control H it. Oh, sorry. Control H. Get rid of all those extra bits. You can see. Corners are good. Everything's good. It looks great. I do have a border around each and every window but that's just because this is hyperland i could change that to a white border to make it fit in more or get rid of the border altogether but honestly i love this thing this thing it looks honestly brilliant and if i wanted to i can lower the amount of blur on this by a metric butt ton and have it look even better so it's really good it's easy to customize right out of the box which is great now we do this and we go and open up the terminal the terminal looks just as good i love the floating bar instead of it being a title bar i think that looks really awesome uh there's this green button that i can't press that makes me a little bit sad but whatever so going by this my first initial thoughts were it's too good to be true and i'm like I mean, look at it. It's a, it's a tad bit impossible, but believe it or not, it is fully possible. And it's already done up and set up because I already have my wine and everything set up the way that it should be. Uh, this application seems to be unaffected for some reason, and I don't know why. There's a few applications that seem not to be affected, and uh, it's a bit weird. Tweaks is affected. It just doesn't have the same appearance on the side as this does, which I wish it would. As you can see, Toho Dark right there. And uh, it's boot stretched. And anything else, really? Because I think System Monitor as well. Ooh, let's take a look at the System Monitor. Okay, that just looks nifty. Like, uber nifty. Look at that. Oh, look how clean that looks. Wow. Okay, then there's then there's mission control. Okay, so this will affect any GTK 3 and 4 app. Look at that. Look how clean that looks. That is like the most clean thing ever. Uh, how do I actually go here? Can I like change graph to logical cores? Ah, so clean. So clean. Go to apps it's just look apple did a great job on their design okay it's a little bit flawed here and there but overall it was an amazing design and it really brings new life to certain applications and it's doing the same thing when ported over to things like linux in the design sense and honestly it's it's very inspirational and i like it a lot like if I would, if I could, I'd put a white border around this and make this look good. Uh, what can I tell you? Besides, it's nearly perfect. So, how do you install this thing? What do you do to set it up? Well, first, let's get it open again. I'll go into my history and I'll uh, select it. So, this is one of those things where you're going to copy here. All right. Technically, you don't have to, but you know what? Here's what they should do. While this is interesting, all right, what they should do is we're going to click this. We're going to open this up raw, 
and wriggling. You would do this, okay? Bear with me, all right? Curl, dash F, uh, I think it's SL. Then you would paste that in, okay? And you would do this and bash. That would bring it all down and, re and install everything that you need. Uh, but I think the main issue is it heavily relies on having everything down with it. So I don't think it's ready for this yet. I just wanted to show you that for some scripts that would totally work. For others, we're going to need to do this instead. Git clone like that. And I'm just going to call this gnome. All right. That means it's going to be put into a new folder. You don't need to do the gnome part. So it's going to clone into gnome. Then we're going to do sudo cd gnome. And then you're going to do slash install.sh dot slash install dot sh dash d okay so this is going to go and redo everything type yes to this enter your password it's done log out log in and you're good to go now it also puts a secondary application uh called evolve in your downloads folder let me go grab that real quick so this is it we run it and hit accept hit okay and I don't know what this is. I really, really don't. But yeah, here's the thing. I'm okay with it. It's it's definitely kind of interesting, to say the least. It lets me set my uh, my gnome shell. Well, not really, uh, but it lets me set four and three and Tahoe. So that's fine with me. It also shows the icons that you have installed and as well as your extensions when you're on GNOME. And it looks like it does, but that's about it. That's that's a very interesting application. Yeah, so GTK4 apps and GTK3 apps are now set to Tahoe Dark, and I'm all here for it. So I will leave this in the link. I'll leave this in the description below. You guys can check it out. Uh, leave a comment if you enjoy it. Let me know your experience and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Now, this is where the kicker comes from. If you guys want to set GNOME up to where it's nice and shiny with lots of blur and eye candy and everything like that, um, you can check out my complete Pico OS video. I, I have a complete install of Pico OS. It will go over how I handle everything. Okay, blur my shell, you name it. And it's all time coded, so you can just skip to that one part and go all the way through. That'll make it easier and you'll have less questions to ask. If you made it this far, to let me know that you've watched the video till the end, Ika is the word. Bye, everybody.